Ready Set Surgical is a cloud-based coordination platform for just-in-time surgical inventory that's used in about 10 million surgeries a year. People don't realize that hospitals have to borrow about 20% of the equipment that they use for surgeries, and that's why ReadySet was created, to help create transparency in that process. As a business, we feel like it's our responsibility to uh, be financially viable, but more importantly, our entire team feels like patient safety, ensuring that everything is working properly is really the most important reason why we exist. It actually started in my 12-year career in medical device sales. Um, as a medical device salesperson, I was responsible for providing support for my surgical products, but also delivering and making sure that equipment was ready for the procedure. Um, so in that time, I noticed countless instances where the logistics around getting this equipment would result in a suboptimal patient outcome. Uh, we've been funded by Queen City Angels and Cincy Tech. We started out at HCDC and have worked with Centrifuge. So it feels like all of the uh, agencies that are available to help startup companies have played a part in our growth. Um, and they really kind of given us the feeling that the city and state are behind us. Ohio, number one, has really great hospitals. Um, when you talk about Cincinnati Children's or Cleveland Clinic or Ohio State, just really top-notch facilities that um, are well known throughout the country. So we believe it's a great place for health tech because those hospitals are on the forefront of a lot of new technologies. We also, um, in my experience, have, have felt that there's a certain Midwestern mentality in Ohio where people want to help you. It feels like we've received assistance from so many different corners and every time we run into somebody, um, they, they offer to help. So I think that's a big reason why Ohio is a great place to start a business. If you want to solve a problem, make sure that you understand the problem. Become a subject matter expert either through education or experience because really there's no uh, point in trying to solve a problem unless you know why people are doing it the way that they're currently doing it. So that would be my advice. Try and understand your problem as deeply as possible before you try and come up with a solution.